Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys a brief demo of just how powerful the SR Lounge Vintage Photoshop Action Set is. So let's get started. How this set works is you're going to load up your color corrected images. So basically, all that needs to be done really is just apply a little bit of contrast, color correct the image so that the brightness levels are where they need to be, uh, and then load it straight into Photoshop. From there, every effect is going to be very consistent with a standard color corrected image. So here we have our color corrected image from Lightroom. This image was provided to us by Linegers of Photography. It's a beautiful shot that was taken a couple weeks ago out at uh, out in Laguna Beach. And let's show you guys how this action set works. So there are four different action packs in the SR Lounge Vintage Action Set. The base pack, the warm pack, the cool, and the antique packs. All these packs are divided by color schema. So let's show you guys how it works. And we're going to start with the base pack since it is the foundation. Now, at the very top, you'll see instructions. So if you guys do have any questions along the way, you can always look through the instructions again. Each of these effect style headers, you can also click on, hit play. It'll also give you an idea of what each effect style does. But a quick overview is that each action is composed with a color plus an effect style, just like what you see here. So we talked about the base pack being neutral colors, so that means it's going to be all kind of whites, grays, and desaturated kind of colors. So everything's neutral. And there are four effect styles, which are the same for all of the different uh, vintage packs. So the effect styles are as follows. Effect styles are bright washes, neutral punches, neutral washes, and dark washes. And that's how each uh, set of actions is categorized. So, what is a bright wash? Well, the first word in that effect style basically decides, uh, it determines the luminosity. So, bright, neutral, or dark. Bright is going to brighten the image. Neutral is going to keep the image brightness about where it's at. Dark is going to darken it. Okay, the next word in that effect style is describes the contrast. So, a wash is going to fade and wash out the image, whereas a punch is going to add contrast and make it very contrasty. So, there's only one type of punch, and the rest are actually washes. So, you have a bright wash, a neutral wash, and a dark wash, and you have just neutral punches. All right, so basically, what we do is we take that color plus the effect style and we determine what it's going to do to our image. So, for example, this desaturated plus neutral punch. Well, from that uh, from that name, I know that it's going to desaturate the original colors. It's going to keep about the same level of brightness, and then it's going to punch up the contrast. So let's apply it and see what we get. And we can see it did exactly that. It's desaturated uh, the image colors. It's punched up the contrast, so it's very punchy, and it gives us a really nice, beautiful look to this image. We can adjust the opacity. These uh, neutral punches are defaulted to 75%. So if you go all the way up to 100, it gets even more all the way up to black and white, or at least close to black and white. And then if you pull it down, you get more of the original color tones in it. All right, so let's delete this effect. We're just going to take the whole thing, drag in the trash can. Let's try another one. So let's do a desaturated cross plus bright wash. So what's that going to do? Well, it's going to desaturate the image, cross process it, and then apply a brightened, washed out look to the image. So let's click on play. So you can see how this naming system makes it so simple and straightforward to apply actions. Let's try another one. We're going to delete this folder. All right, so let's try an ivory neutral wash. So ivory just means it's going to basically keep a neutral color tone to it, the original color tones. Neutral is standard brightness, and it's going to wash out our image. So let's apply that. OK, now I love how it's washing out the shadow detail, but let's say I want a little bit more contrast in the image. Well, now I turn to the tweaks, which are, again, only in the base pack. Uh, so I'm going to go to the Contrast Boost, and then hit Play. And then we're just going to turn up that level of contrast. So we get more contrast. Again, the black detail is still gone, but we get more contrast overall in the image. So I love that just where it's at. You can see how the tweaks will allow us to kind of fine tune the image. Let's briefly show you guys a few more examples. So I'm going to delete this. Let's close up the base pack now, and let's go to the warm pack. So the warm ba pack basically contains warm tones. So we have yellows, oranges, reds, and then a warm cross process effect. So let's first apply a, uh, let's try the warm cross neutral wash. So what it's going to do is it's going to give us a warm cross processed color tone, and then it's going to be standard brightness with a washed out look. Oops. So because of this naming system, before we even apply the action, we know exactly what it does. It looks great. Let's uh, show you another one. I think it would look really cool if we had kind of like some crimson, some red tones in this image uh, and made it really punchy. I think it would look really good with that sunset. Let's try that. So it looks awesome. It looks like they're on Mars, but let's tone it down a bit. So I'm going to take that opacity. We're going to tone it back, like say, to about 40%. Actually, we'll go down to 30 
that looks great. Those little kind of that red tone in the sunset makes a really nice uh, effect. So I've, here's the before, here's the after on that. Now let's go to the cool pack. I'm going to delete this. So the cool pack are cooler tones. So we have teal, which is like a green blue. We have azure, which is blue, and a violet, which is a blue purple. And then a cool cross process effect, which is going to be just basically cross processing, but on the cooler side. So let's do a similar thing. Let's see. Uh, I want to see what it looks like if we mix blue with a very punchy look into this kind of whole s scene that we have here. So let's take that azure neutral punch. So it's going to give us a blue tone with neutral brightness and a punchy contrasty look. So let's hit play. And that looks gorgeous. I love that. Um, I love how it brings out the blue tones in the water, the sky. Uh, we can turn it up a little bit if we want. Um, we can also tone it down. I think I like it about where it's at. Again, the default values are really kind of based on, the default opacity is based on kind of our testing. So most of the time, the, the default value should come out about right. Let's delete that. Let's try one more. Let's do a cool cross neutral wash. So this should be a cool, kind of cool tone, cross processed, neutral brightness, and washed out. And that's exactly what we get again. So again, very simple. Uh, you can know exactly what each action does as you're before you apply it. No memorization needed. Let's go to the last uh, pack. This is the Antique Vintage Pack. And these tones are based more on, like this color system is kind of based more on antique vintage looks. So we're talking about kind of the yellow sepias, the bronze black and whiting, the blue tone black and whiting, uh, and then traditional standard black and whites. So that's the four different color tones that are available in this one. Now we tried to keep, sepia is kind of like a very overused effect, so in this action pack we tried to make that sepia the amber black and white a little more modern a little cooler so let's try out the uh, amber neutral punch so you can see it has a really nice look to it um, it's a very punchy uh, look it basically takes that black and white toning and then applies amber kind of duo toning over the image and uh, and it looks great these are the only actions that will come in this in this set it's the only action set that comes in at 100 percent opacity so basically to reduce the strength of these you're just going to pull it down and it's going to reveal more of the underlying color tones let's try another one let's go and do a let's do a azure black and white bright wash so what this is going to do is it's going to be blue toned black and white plus brightened and washed out that looks really cool actually, but I do want to tone it down a little bit. It's a little bit too much for this image. We can tone it about there, and then we can actually pull up our base pack and do some tweaks on it. So if I want to darken it and maybe boost contrast, I'm going to select those two, hit play, and now it darkens it. I'm going to increase my contrast even more, and we have this really cool kind of darkened uh, blue, black, and white kind of feel. Let's delete that. Let's go back to our antique pack, and let me show you one more. Let's do a uh, bronze black and white plus neutral wash. So based on the name, this should apply kind of a bronze brownish toning to a black and white effect with a neutral brightness and a washed out look. And again, it's exactly what we get. We know exactly what everything's going to look like prior to doing it. I can adjust the opacity of this down. We can reveal kind of those original color tones. And the cool thing, I'm going to give you guys a little brief glimpse at Mixology, which is going to be uh, one of the next videos. Mixology is basically action recipes, so taking actions and mixing them together, we call it Mixology. So we're going to take that bronze black and white effect, and let's see what would look cool. I think it would look really cool if we applied that, uh, that blue kind of neutral punch to this. So let's mix those two, and then what I want to do is I want to make that blue effect kind of the more dominant effect. So I'm going to put that one on top. And then we're going to play with the opacities. So I'm going to adjust up the neutral wash just to kind of wash out those black and whites, or, or the, the shadows a little bit more. And then we're going to punch up that neutral punch a little bit. Let's go finally back up to our tweaks. Whoops. Base pack. And let's add a little bit more contrast. I'm going to tone it down just a tiny bit. And then let's try a little bit of saturation. You do want to be careful with saturation because you can overdo it and it'll create like a little posterization, kind of some unnatural gradation. So we're going to do it 14%. So this is a little example of some mixology. We just took our existing actions in our vintage packs, applied a few tweaks, mixed and matched, and then we got a completely new look. We're going to have tons of mixology recipes on the website, so you guys can look forward to those as well. Hope you guys enjoyed and be sure to check out the other videos where we dive more into mixology and get a little deeper into the Vintage Action set by SR Lounge. Take it easy, guys.